Hey, so I had an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work and I don't know if, I honestly, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I just had the idea and I figured I would make a video about it. I wanted to see if I can make that drum set's kick drum, which is a 22 inch kick drum, 22 inches, be similar to that kick drum, which is an 18 inch kick drum. Now, I use this drum set for 90% of the recordings that I do, mostly because this is just the standard sizes, 22, 12, and 16. That guy is just, just for fun. He's a, it's a 10 inch Tom, and I was, I was bored one day, and I just wanted to spice up my, uh, my practice routine, so I threw a, an extra drum on there. But anyway, I wanted to see if I could make this kick drum, which is the 18 inch kick drum, sound like that drum. This drum, sound like that drum. This drum, that drum. I don't know if it's gonna work, to be honest, but I feel like it would make a, a good video, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Now, with, with this experiment, I wanna keep it as consistent as I can. So the only thing that's gonna change are the kick drums. So 18, 22. For the, the placement of the microphones, I'm gonna have one inner kick just basically in the center of the, the kick drum. And I'm gonna have an outer kick where the grill meets the head right here. And it'll be the same for both kick drums, so keeping it super, super consistent. I'm gonna use the same kick drum beater and the same pedal. That way everything is just as consistent as it possibly can be. I don't want anything changing in the experiment besides the, the kick drums. So that's what we're, uh, we're gonna do. Also, I'm going to make a separate video of me actually cutting the kick drum hole out. So if you wanna check that out, it'll be linked up there. For this video, I'm just going to do this. Whoa, that's so convenient. It's just, there wasn't a hole and now there is, is a hole. Weep, whoop, weep, whoop, weep, whoop. All right, now that this is done, we can uh, continue with uh, the experiment. I feel so, so sciencey when I say experiment. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Okay, so now, let me put this guy down. Have the, uh, the kick drums ready, and now I'm going to gonna play. Like I said before, I'm gonna play the same groove, same amount of measures, the same tempo, and the same mic placement, all of that stuff to keep it as fair and as consistent as I can. With that, let's, uh, let's get started. All right, I don't even have to uh, listen to that to know that that kick drum sounds massive. That's crazy. 
Let's uh, let's take it to the desk and we can kind of look at what's actually going on. 18 inches versus 22. All right, let's let's check it out. Ah, okay. So these off. I'm at the desk, and I mean, in my ears, the small kick drum sounded massive, way bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be. Similar, but I didn't think it was gonna be that close. So let's listen to it one more time with the video and the audio and compare and contrast. Okay, so the 22, in my opinion, was more dialed back. It was more rounded in the low end compared to the, the 18. And that, that, that could be because of a lot of things. It could be the, the muffling that was in there, the tuning that was in there. But again, the tuning and the muffling I tried to keep pretty consistent, but there is more air being moved because it is a bigger drum. So there's that factor in there that I think is causing the roundness in the kick drum that you're hearing. The 18 inch kick drum, there's so much there, like there's so much low end that you wouldn't think you would get from a small 18 inch kick drum. But if you tune it correctly and you put the microphones in the right spot, you can get just as much low end as a 22, which is amazing. And when you're thinking about getting a drum set or if you're recording for people or for yourself, don't think just because it's a smaller drum that it can't carry as much weight as a bigger drum because as we saw and listened to, the 18 did more than its fair share of carrying low end and everything else compared to the 22 and it might have beat the 22. That's something for you to decide though. Did you think that the 22 wasn't as boomy or as beefy as the 18 inch kick drum? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you liked this style of video, feel free to let me know so that I can make more videos like this because this was so much fun. That's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I post on this channel like this and many other things. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.